Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Fino here, back again with another DG video, and today we're gonna be going over the operator you just never want to bring on defense. Just a straight up must not pick. Alright, let's get straight into it. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Before we start this off, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that great stuff. All right, let's get straight into it. All right, so all jokes aside, I'm going to give you guys some valid actual reasons not to bring Warden. And if you stick around somewhere in the video, I'm going to give a little bonus where it's like, here's what you should bring instead of Warden. So, you know, stick around for that. It's not going to be at the end. It's going to be somewhere judged in the middle. You'll know when it's there, though. All right, let's get right into it. So to start things off, his ability is just, it's not good. It's self-centered, it only helps him. It's way too situational. If you don't know the way his ability works, is that he has these glasses where when he activates them, he can see through smokes. Flashbangs don't flash him. So he's kind of like a glass on defense, if you want to think about it like that. And if you're wondering why it's situational, here's why. In the meta, currently, flashes and smokes aren't used a lot for planting or like stopping people from seeing, you know, with Ying. Ying's not in meta. All smokes are used to burn like a Rooney Gates and uh ADS's so there's not much time for smokes and flashes to be used in a rank match which means warden's gadget is therefore invalid maybe possibly somewhat sometimes forget but anyways his ability is not that good as we said it's too self-centered it's too situational doesn't always work you know you're not always gonna be needing it because imagine those rounds where they're not bringing smokes or they're not bringing flashes you did nothing you your contribution to the team was negative in fact because you took away from something that could be better so his gadget just sucks it's the worst i think it's honestly the worst gadget in the game and moving things on here you may think i'm joking but this really bothers me he's not sub to disrupt now you'll be like for real and i'm like yes for real Warden's not subscribed to Disrupt Gaming, which is just goofy in my opinion. If you guys aren't subbed, sub right now. And while you're at it, leave a comment saying you subscribed. We'll respond. Give a little hey. Maybe talk about your day a little bit or something. And also, while you're at that, since you're down there, might as well leave a like too. But yeah, that's just the goofiest thing about Warden's entire personality. Not sub to DG. Kind of, kind of, kind of sus if you ask me. But you know what? That's just my opinion. Anyways, so yeah, you know. Make sure to subscribe. We'd like that. Moving on from that, our third reason why we don't like Warden is kits only okay. Now you think, okay, well, if his gadgets met, they have to have blessed him with a kit, right? They didn't. They really didn't. So Warden was not blessed with his kit, although you may think he should be because of how trash his ability is. But he wasn't. He is given the M590A1 for a primary or an MPX. Now, the MPX was at 1.5, so that's good boy points. And then the M59 is a gray shotgun, so that's good boy points. But his secondary is the Clash Pistol, the P10C, aka the crappy version of Ella's pistol, and then the SMG12. Now, I have X-ray vision, don't question it. So now by a show of hands, who here has ever said, yeah, the SMG-12 is so much better than the Bearing 9 or the SMG-11. Nobody, right? It's it's the worst secondary SMG. It, the recoil is not manageable. Even if you're one of the best players in the game, it's just still not good enough to be consistent past anything over you're touching them, literally tickling their nose hairs. And then the P-10C, it's not a bad pistol if you're running the MPX, but if you're running the shotgun, which makes more sense, then you have a crappy secondary. So you don't get to combo the sh shotgun with a good secondary. And if you bring the MPX, you're missing out on the valuability of a shotgun, especially when you have a, a gadget that does so little for your team. And then obviously it brings a shield and a nitro, both pretty good, good equipment abilities. Equipment can't really go wrong on, you know, utility is fine no matter what. But yeah, so as a whole, his kit is pretty, his kit is pretty subpar. Nothing too good, nothing Nothing that stands out. Nothing that makes you go, wow, I should really be playing this operator right now. But again, he does have the MPX 1.5, so... And coming on to our fourth point, he's just a waste of a pick. When you don't bring much utility, and your gadget doesn't help your team, and you're not doing much for your, your team with your weapons if you don't bring that shotgun, and you're not doing much for yourself, because the guns, as I said, are pretty mid. Like, the MPX is good, 
but it's still a pea shooter no matter what you put on it. There's better operators to play. And this is what I was talking about before with here's some better operators you can play instead of Warden. That kind of get what you would get from Warden, but it makes more sense. So both of these operators are the same armor as him. Warden is a two armor, two speed operator. So are both of these operators. And your replacements that I have given you that I think are well worth it are Smoke and Valkyrie. And I think these are honestly perfect replacements because they each have parts of his kit. So if we go to Smoke, Smoke has the same shotgun. He has the Boyble Shield that Warden has. And he has the SMG-11, which is a better version of SMG-12. So essentially, Smoke is the support side of Warden. You know, shotgun for rotates. SMG for the secondary, because you know, you can need some type of gun. And then shield to, you know, give you some angles, block off some doorways, potato, potato, whatever, whatever. So yeah, that's more support side. And if you play him for the frag potential, because you like the MPX or something, then Valkyrie. Valkyrie's, as I said, two armor, two speed, has an MPX. Same attachments aside from the 1.5, which is a drawback, but I don't think it's too big of an issue. She has a nitro cell and impacts while Warden has the Nitro Cell, you know, pick which one you want, obviously. But we're just going to say Nitro Cell, so, you know, you get the same trade-offs there. And if you want to bring the Impact to help the team, boom, you're helping the team even more than you are Warden, because Warden sucks. And on top of that, she has three cams, which can see anything, yellow ping people, way more useful than you being able to see through smokes or flashbangs on, like, the 5% of times you're getting hit by smokes or flashbangs. Now, bullying Warden aside, simply put, there's just superior operators in the game. There's better ops to play. Tell me the last time you've seen your favorite pro player, your favorite streamer, your favorite DG member, if it's not me, you're lying, running Warden. You might have seen it a couple of times, but it's never a match point moment where they need crucial operators. It's always like, haha, we're goofing around. It's just a goof. We're having fun. La di da because he's not good he doesn't help your team in fact i personally think he's bad for your team because as i said he takes away from good operators like smoke or valkyrie he just doesn't bring enough to the table mid-tier guns mid-tier gadget mid-tier everything and he runs funny we're, we're seal team six they don't train us to run funny don't quote me on that we might not be seal team six we may be a ton of other things we definitely are. I just remember those operator regiments. Tangent aside. Don't bring Warden. Now, if you're still going to bring Warden in this video and say, Hey, frick you, man. I like Warden. He's my favorite operator in the game. I'm not going to hate you for it. Your teammates will. I won't. You know, you do you. Power to the player. I don't care. It's always up to you. It's always good to have fun. Remember that. Fun before anything, but just don't bring Warden. But if you do, just know. I'm disappointed. Aside from that, I really do hope you guys enjoyed the video. Feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Helps the algorithm, helps us out. We'll love you for it. Everyone will. Even your parents will. Your, your mom will text you right away and be like, yo, thank you. Thank you for liking. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for subscribing. I'm sorry. I'm just going on and on and on. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace.